We saw a thought but read a lot, read a lot. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Odi and this is Odi TV. If you have not subscribed, please do it now. Do it now that I'm looking at you. So, somebody made a request in the comment section below. Person said I should review Lutana. So, that is what we are going to do today. The, the movie is about a young man who discovers that he must offset a debt owed by his late father. He goes through a myriad of trials and tribulations that stand to make or break him. The cast of this movie includes Jide Kosoko, Liz Benson, Chris Okabwe, Amake Abe Brese. And it was directed by Toka McBarrow. So the first thing I noticed about this film was the great picture quality. Like the picture quality of this film was insane. Okay, so this movie came out in April of 2017 and it was actually nominated for like a lot of awards. So this movie was actually big, okay? That actually makes sense because it was just, it was bellissimo. Spaghetti. That made no sense. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. It was great. That is what you should know. It was really, 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 really well done. The cinematography was great. The picture quality was great. The sound quality was great. Everything. Let me tell you. Everything about this film was fantastic. I liked the production. The director knew what he was doing. They cast, the, the, the cast members were actually great. They all had great chemistry with themselves. Lutana had great chemistry with his friends. This story was totally different and I liked that. It was so different. It was so unpredictable. It was so uncliché. I love the location. I don't know. I think I don't. I'm going to guess this movie was shot in Ibadan because of those brown roofs that Ibadan is known for. I loved the location. I loved the picture. There was just something about this picture. I liked the um tone of it. It wasn't too bright. It wasn't too dark. It was gloomy enough. The sound quality was incredible. This movie was set in the 1980s. I was actually kind of confused at first because I wasn't sure exactly where this time this movie was set in. Then I finally got to know that it was set in the 1980s when I noticed, I don't know how long that, that calendar was in that parlor, when I noticed the calendar and it was set in the year 1986. They took notice or they took note of all the little, little details that they knew that there will always be one of us happy person that will notice that okay, that calendar was set in. 2015 but this movie doesn't seem to be set in 2015 do you guys understand and the props they used corresponded more with the time with the time setting like the guns they used the cars even their outfits even the um um and i love the fact that they actually chose somebody that could sing for the role of lotana because some people would have got to get somebody that cannot sing and not come and do one kind of dirty smelling lip sync that did not enter for us. If you check now, he can probably dance. Okay. Why would I see this guy in any more movies? Like, I'm so perplexed. I'm baffled. I'm flabbergasted. Liz Benson. Liz Benson, even though Liz Benson did not really say much or act much, you could still feel her presence in this film. The fact that they gave her a, that she had a grief-induced dementia was actually a nice touch too because I think that actually happens in real life, you know? When people are, they are so overtaken by grief that they, they can't even fu function properly especially when it's somebody that you've lived with for almost all your life that's deep stuff man my favorite scene in this movie was when i'm pretty sure almost everybody has seen this movie so you won't really care for spoilers when lutana and his two friends went broke into jide kosoko's house <laughs> and then like you will listen to my song by fire by force you must listen to this song the continuity of this movie was good also they followed up like you know lotana's mark on his hand when he got stabbed by the dawn did not just disappear like boom it did it didn't just go boom naya in everybody it was still there the mark was still there so the continuity department did a great job i really could have done without chris atto's character because his character just it, it, there was no need 
I don't know what his what he was there for. I have no idea what he was there for. And one thing I didn't really like in the film was that Don he didn't have to make him stammer because anytime a scene came with him and I knew he was going to stammer, I just used to like you know check out. But had it been the stammering wasn't there, that movie could have actually been ten minutes shorter. Had it been the stammering played a role in the in the storyline itself, it would have made more sense. Okay, because when he was telling Lotana why he and his dad, why he and him, he and Lotana's dad fell out. Had it been, they maybe they maybe said that the Don, you know, was the writer of the group and he couldn't sing because of his stammer. It would have actually made more sense for him to have a stammer. Do you, do you people understand what I'm trying to say? I feel like you do. I feel like you do. I was kind of confused by the end because. When his mom was like, his name means remember. He was like, <gasps> what does that mean? Is Lotana alive? Is Lotana dead? Was Lotana dreaming the whole thing? Was he sleeping? Was he in a coma? That, so the end was kind of confusing for me. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, so I read this movie an 8.5. Why? Because of the end. I'm not sure what they were trying to do with that end. Honestly, sometimes just may give us a clear end. Make it clear. You don't have to be mysterious. And again, obviously, the stammering. I was not really here for it. Thank you for recommending this movie to me because I really, really liked it and it was a good watch. And I will actually recommend it to you guys because you, if you if you haven't seen it yet, please go and see Lutana. I don't know if it's on YouTube, but it's on Iroko TV. Go and see Lutana. It's really good. It's really different. It's it's not even Nollywood did a good one with this. And if there's anything. You would like me to review again i would love to just say something in the comment section below don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment tell me what you think and tell me if you love this movie as much as i did and if you have watched it or not and if you like my video thank you give me a thumbs up bye